Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. I want to tell you we're going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to give you a fleet update. First though, I want to tell you thank you very much for all the new subscribers. That car right over there, see her? Yeah, the S55 AMG is bringing a lot of people to the channel, bringing a lot of boys to the yard because of the milkshake that came out of the oil. Oh, But I do want to say thank you and welcome to all the new people. Thank you for the people who are buying some of this merch that I have right here. Hats coming very, very soon. Of course, coffee cups, probably the most popular on the site. Teespring.com, get your coffee cup. Mm, good stuff in it, makes it taste even better. But we're going to do a fleet update today. We're going to take you uh, on a little walk around and show you all the cars that Mike has fixed and all the cars that Mike has broken. Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm in the car. And thanks to this car right here, I have a number one video on my channel right now. Yep, this is the 2001 S55 AMG that I've been focusing on for the past uh, five or maybe six videos. Uh, so if you've been watching, you know about her and all the troubles and the tribulations that we have been through together. So. We're not going to focus too much on her, um, but I can tell you that I do have some upgrades coming on the inside. Okay, love the inside of these. Super, super nice. Look how nice. No cracks, no nothing. Nothing wrong with the leather. I do have another radio, so we're going to focus on the inside in a coming video very, very soon. We're going to change that right there to something that's a little more current. All right, but this is one of my very highly anticipated cars. Okay, I still have some parts right there I have to get to, but look at the interior. She's got 100,000 miles and that's all. I hope the engine is okay. We're kind of moving forward with body work while the engine is uh, just being prayed about. <laughs> okay, so here we have 2001 S55 AMG. As we move from the W220, there's Lola showing off for you guys. Let's go back in time to the W140. This is a 97 S500 that I haven't had on the channel in a long, long time. This I had so many hopes for, okay? This car was really, really, really going to be a good one for the channel. And I did a lot of work. I put um, lots of money into her, new exhaust, new windshield, coils, spark plugs, hoses, all kinds of things on this car and then the transmission decided to go poop. All right, I brought her home from the Mercedes dealer and the transmission was leaking. They said I need a new one. Um, I put a new, uh, what is it, a valve body. I just did a whole bunch of things to this car and I just couldn't get it working just right. I do love these. I can't tell you how much I love these cars, okay? And yes, I know those are the wrong wheels. I have some AMG wheels that I'm keeping. Um, but I'll show you how nice and clean this is, okay? Let's see if I can get it to open. Ugh, there we go. Love the engine, okay? This is as smooth as can be, but it's the tranny. Yep, she's got a bad tranny. Okay, for those who have been watching for a long, long time, remember when I got this thing finally back on the road and it was doing good and it was doing well and the first time I took it out, someone backed into me? Yep, that's the result right there. You can't really see it in the shadow, but I've got a good sized dent. There you go. Right along here. Thank you very much, mysterious person. Yeah, thank you for that. Paint, well, we do have some clear coat issues on top. The trunk is a whole mess, all right? See, this has been painted, and now you have... Just You can just take the clear coat off, yeah. You can just scratch it right off. Look at this, there's a big chunk right there. There it goes, here's another one. Yep, there you go. Okay, so this is the 97 S500 I've had for a couple of years. I got this at a Copart auction and I think this car may be sold. I'm very sorry to tell you that, but Mike's gotta focus on other cars and I found a gentleman here in town who really, 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 really likes this car. Okay, we're gonna start her up. It's been a while. Yeah. Look at that. Look how nice. Should I let her go or no? I don't know. 
I don't know. I've done so much to her and I've spent so much money on her. I love her, but she needs a transmission. Yeah. What is that? What should I do? I really don't know about this car because I do love her. And she's beautiful. With the right wheel, she's even prettier. All right, there we go. That's the S500, the W140. Let's go back in time even further right now, okay? Yeah, the W126. What is this one? Two door, four door, SEL, SEC? <gasps> SEC, baby, for you and me. Yep, I, how many times can I show my license plate? I'm sorry, I probably should not do that. Here we go, 1990, 560 SEC with clear coat issues again. I think this car's been painted. This is just getting worse and worse. Okay, I found this in Tulsa when I lived in Oklahoma City. Fell in love, just had to have it. Haven't driven it over a quarter of a mile on the roads. Yeah, remember I put a transmission in. She's eating leaves. My dog is eating leaves. Okay, anyway, put a transmission in this one in the driveway in Oklahoma City. Yeah, that's the kind of guy I am. And now I think that the, um, let's get the right key in there, Mike. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So now I think that the torque converter might be bad because I'll give it gas and it doesn't go anywhere. In park, she'll rev like crazy. In drive, she gets bogged down. So I don't know what the difference would be. I'm thinking a torque converter, but I did, this is a little discolored right here. It looks worse in the shade. But you can get that re-dyed, okay? 1990, 560 SEC, the gentleman's car, the gentleman's coupe. Love, love, love this car, even with its little Sony, whatever that thing used to be. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna start. We're just gonna give it a try, just to kind of see. 173,000 miles. Oh, she's dead as a doorknob. Well, yay, okay. Anyway, take a gander at this. We'll get her started in just a second. Okay, as far as issues, the only thing is that torque converter. All right, so I'm thinking about having it rebuilt or finding another one um, because they're not known for that. I'll show you the outside. We went ahead, we've updated the headlights. Remember that video? Yep, we made a huge difference. Check her out. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah. She's really, really pretty. Now to open these, there's a hinge on each side and I gotta use one finger with my camera over here and a finger over here. And lo and behold, a dirty engine. I've been working on this car like crazy. Okay, spark plugs, wires. Obviously need a head liner, a roof, a hood liner. Yeah. Hoses, I've changed lots of things on this old girl. And the engine runs really, really well. She runs really well. Let's see if we can prove that. Ha! We can't prove it because the battery's missing. I took the battery out of this one to put it in that one over there. Yeah, okay. But she runs great. She does run great. The body's in good condition. The paint, well, the paint needs work. Did you notice something different on this side and that side? <laughs> Look at the wheels, nice and shiny. Nice and chromey, nice and silvery. Yeah, we have different wheels. Brand new tires, but different wheels. Um, I do have matching chrome and matching silver alloy. I don't know why I did that. I don't, there was a reason why, I, don't, I just don't know. But I have better wheels for that. I do have better wheels. You wanna see, ugly. And then we have all kinds of wheels right there. And in the boxes, new wheels, yeah. So one of those wheels like that, oh, 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 isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, they're gonna go on that car because that changes everything about them when you change the wheels. Okay, that is the 1990 560 SEC. There's a whole series of videos on this on the channel as well, so please go check those out. Take a gander. Take a gander, we're going way back in time. This is another S-Class. Yeah, the W108. This is Janice, okay? She is really popular on the channel. This is a 1969 Mercedes 280 SE. 
that used to be parked where I kept all my other cars in Oklahoma City at the public storage. Have you heard the story on this one? Yeah, pretty amazing story. She is in beautiful condition and she was just parked out there next to this trashy looking trailer. So what I did, I put my business card under this little windshield wiper right here and I put it in a plastic bag and I said, hey, listen, I love this car. If you ever decide to sell it, please, 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 please give me a call. Well, I moved to Tulsa. I didn't forget about it. I just thought the guy thought I was a kook and would never call me. Well, he called. He did call. And we're talking on the phone in Studio B, and he said that this belonged to his father-in-law. He passed away. It went to his wife. She passed away, and he wanted to sell it before he passed away. So he said, I'm thinking about uh, selling this for about five, and I was thinking $5,000, and I wouldn't be able to afford it. And then he said 100 He said $500. And I said, sold. Whatever you do, you know, whatever it takes, don't sell it to anybody else because I want this car. I want to bring it back to life. I want to keep it and give it to my kids. He said, okay, we'll do that. Then he had to go to court and uh, get the whole title changed into his name and all of that kind of stuff. So it cost him a little extra more, a little more money. I gave him a couple hundred dollars more and we did the deed. Yeah, $500 for this car right here with 56,000 miles, that's all, 56,000 miles. But as you can see right here, back when we used to have state inspections, she was inspected in 2005. Yes, okay? So she hasn't been on the road in 15 years, at least, okay? The problem with her, he said, was her engine. Electric windows even, yep, electric windows even. So even slowly, working on that okay look at the inside look at this she is beautiful and I got to tell you I um, somebody who I've been following on YouTube for a long long time the Mercedes God himself Kent Bergsma actually watched the first video on this I was emailing with his daughter and I, got, I bought some stuff from him and his stuff is really really good and we were emailing him and I said, hey, have your dad check out my channel. And she wrote back and said, he's looking at it right now. He's watching the 280SE and he's laughing and all that kind of stuff. So Kent, love, 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 love you. All right, thank you for all the guidance that you've given me. As far as engine, yeah, we've taken the valve cover off. We had some rust on the camshafts. We've done that. We've made it all nice and pretty. I have all new hoses. I have all new belts. I also have a gas tank and a radiator that has been cleaned and washed out. I'll put the pictures up right here so you can see them. There was a Native American here in uh, Tulsa who cleaned those out and painted them for me and did a really, really, really good job. So Johnny, thank you very much for that. But look how pretty she is. Yeah, I have high, 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 high hopes for this car right here. I don't know about the wheels, okay? This is the guy that spent cash on everything, okay? Everything he paid cash for. He, she was repainted twice because he wasn't happy the first time, paid cash for that. But the wheels, I want to say they were $2,000 back in the day. He paid cash for that. He updated the steering wheel. I don't know if I like the steering wheel or not, but I love, love, love the way that looks. Not the way that looks. I don't like those bumper guards. I love the way this looks right here. Yeah, isn't she gorgeous? And if you've been watching, yeah, you know that a ghost may live here. See that? <laughs> it still scares me. Doesn't look like that in real life, but when you get up close, see it? See the ghost? Yeah, that's a dude. That's a ghost right there. That's scary. That is scary. There's a whole video series on this car as well. So if you like the older Mercedes 280 SE, please go check this out. As far as issues other than the engine, transmission I don't even know about. Yeah, that's sunshine you see right through there. Yep, we've had a blowout in the back. I think water leaked in after sitting for so long. Water just leaked in, pulled right there, and ate its way through the bottom. Yep, that's unfortunate. Sitting next to Janice, the Bummer Beamer, also very popular on the channel. This is the Bummer Beamer that I could not get off of the trailer for a long, long time. It was cold. I took it up to Truthful Tom's house. Truthful Tom and Monkey Wrench Mike's mom, Monkey Mom. Yeah, and we fixed it, and then we found out that the engine cradle was a goner, okay? So I've had to remove this, and this is a big process, okay? This is holding up the engine right there. 
Yeah, because there's nothing below holding it up. But this thing is toast. There are all kinds of cracks and it's just all beat up. Okay, there goes an engine mount. But see that? Yeah, I had to, you couldn't even unscrew it. Yeah, that is the reason I think it was totaled. Okay, well, maybe that and let me show you over here. That. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Isn't she lovely? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get that pushed out and fixed. We've already done the fender and everything. Color match is okay. We may have to find an actual fender, but I painted this myself in the garage when I was in an apartment looking for a house. And it's okay for now, but I do want to get a, uh, a fender. I think my sister wants this car right here. So, Mindy, check her out. She's going to be gorgeous. She'll be gorgeous for you once we get the engine support back where it's supposed to be, okay? Lots of work involved in that right there, baby. Lots of work, lots of parts had to come off. But we do have another one, and she's right there. See how pretty? See how nice and shiny she is? Yep, we'll get the new part in. Button her up, take her for a spin. We'll go up and pick up Truthful Tom and Monkey Wrench Mike's mom, and we'll take them for a ride in the Bummer Beamer. But there you go, 2008 BMW 135i convertible yes sir re bob inside is in pretty good condition um the little pop-up display works all the little gauges work there's an issue with the seat over there it needs to be restitched um, and i haven't even cleaned this yet i really i have not cleaned this at all so it does need a good 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 detail top is in good condition too all right so if you like BMWs, once again, we have a series on the Bummer Beamer. There you go. What is this? The E80, E89, something like that for the BMW fans. Yeah, 2007 BMW 135i, as you can see right there. Well, looky there. I do declare it's another Beamer. Yeah, another BMW here in the back of Monkey Wrench Mike's house. Look, check out my little... Eskimo Joe's coffee mug with coffee. I don't fake it. Good stuff. This one was very similar to the Bummer Beamer. Okay, all kinds of problems in this area right here. Once again, trouble getting it off of the trailer. Let me take a drink. Ah, that coffee is so good, especially with Eskimo Joe. So we have replaced the fender. We replaced the wheel. We've replaced the shock and all that kind of stuff. All she needs now is a quick trip to the body shop and then she will be good to go. Okay, this is a 2005, I believe, BMW 330. And I just happen to have the key. Let me go over here and get the key because we're going to start her up and see how she does. There's the key right there. Yep, 330CI convertible with a little bit of wear on the top and she is so dirty. I tell you what, we had some rain come through and then we had that smoke come through and there she goes. Now she's she's opening up, the seat's going back, a little bit of wear there on the seat. But these cars, I think, don't hate, okay? I think the engine on these, the engine in these is better than the next model up, I think my opinion okay let's see how she does when she starts because we we haven't been able to start one for a while there she goes 106,000 miles right there and it is a quiet engine it is a very quiet engine this car was very well taken care of in fact when i got it there were all kinds of service records they even gave me a haynes manual right there to go with the car uh, the radio sounds really really nice still working on the top haven't been able to get the top down yet but once she shined up, I love this color. I really like the color. I left the tow hook in there. I've got the bumper ready to go. Look at all these leaves everywhere. I don't like that. How are, how, what? How is this getting inside? This has been closed. Look at that. How is this getting in there? I don't like that at all. Okay, so anyway. There it is. We do need a headlight as well. Mike's got to order that. But this one has lots and lots and lots of potential. A quick trip to the body shop and she will be good to go. I'm really looking forward to this one. 
I think this one is going to somebody that I work with. He said he's really interested in it because it's low mileage. It's the good model. It's the good color. It's the good wheels. And it's got receipts. So that is some good news for the BMW 330Ci. All right, we're in the front garage. You know that one. Yep, that's my stallion. Yep, that's the mighty ML that has been taking me everywhere and dragged back cars that are super, super heavy. This is the ML 500, it's the V8. We did that, we have a battle scar. I'm, I'm sorry, I really hate to show this to you, but yeah, Monkey Wrench Mike uh, kind of drove underneath a card scanner at work and kind of messed her up a little bit. It'll buff out, that'll buff out. Okay, that car was used to drag this one home, okay? Remember this one? This is the 1990 560 SEL. I have the two door in the back and the four door in the garage. This one is special because I love the color. I love the interior, which happens to be the Brazilian brown. And it is in really, really, really good shape. 202,000 miles on the odometer for her right there. And yes, I do wear masks when I go places but the interior is just really, really, it's a nice place to be. You can tell, you drive these, you drive the W126 series and you can just feel how well these cars are built and put together and the quality of the materials. It's really amazing. Another, there we go, kaboom. What I really like about this car that I can't ever use, the back seats, they're split. Yeah, see that? They recline and everything else. Look what a beautiful place this is. Yeah, wish I could have somebody drive me so I could sit back here and just kind of play with the controls, move the seat up and down, heat the seats up. Yep, love, 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 love this car. One issue right now, there we go, that's your indicator. There are some things to fix. Okay, I've been working on the idle for this car for quite a while and I have the boot that goes under the CIS the uh, fuel distributor, and I think the other one was just so hard and brittle, it came apart in pieces, and I threw them away. There you go. There it is. Yep, okay. So, we've removed all the fuel lines, we've got everything removed, I've got this little thing stuck in here, we're gonna clean that up, the throttle body, okay. I may even take that out, because I do have a gasket, and I'm gonna replace the vacuum lines, okay, here and here, and I think there's supposed to be one in the front. I wish you could see it, but I don't think there's a vacuum hose attached to that in the front. Um, maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's why my idle is so poor right now, but we're gonna get this all buttoned up because I can't wait to get her on the road. I really love to drive this car on the highway. She just cruises and cruises and cruises. Once again, we've updated the headlights, so they kind of look like the SEC. These headlights you can buy from Depot or anywhere. They're not very expensive at all. For the SEC, that's another story. I guess because the SEC is a little uh, more rare. Then you're going to spend big money. I found mine at the junkyard, and they were literally like $30 for two of them, and I just screamed for joy when I found them. These from Depot are good. They work well, and they are not very expensive at all to replace. Body-wise, yeah, she's gorgeous. She is beautiful, all right? I love, 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 love this car right here. We're gonna get her back on the road very, very soon. <gasps> oh, look how cute. You know what that is, right? 1975 MG Midget. Yes, sir, Bob. This was my dad's car. If you've been following, you know that I've been using this for a while. I love this. It's got the original OSU Posse sticker from I don't know, back in the 90s sometime. But this is my pride and joy. This is what my kids are gonna fight over when I'm gone um, because there's only one car. And I almost bought another one that looked just like it and then you know duplicated some stickers and so the girls could choose which one they want. I didn't do that and I probably should have because now one girl is gonna be really disappointed if she doesn't get the car. But this is what my dad drove to and from work. Uh, in the latter part of his life and he used this all the time and he even had a little he backed into something and so when i was bringing the car kind of back to life i did not fix there's a good size dent right there but it just reminds me of my dad so i left it there she does need a good cleaning somebody walked by and knocked off my mirror 
So I just have some electrical tape right here covering up the holes and I will fix that and I'll get another mirror. Mirrors like that don't work though. You can't see out the back. I need to get more of the, uh, what is it called? The black with the little ridges and everything that come up a little higher. I don't know, Momo or something. Anyway, we're gonna get some new mirrors for that. But look at the interior. Autumn leaf is the color. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I drive her when the weather's nice or whenever I'm in a bad mood because it just puts me into a really, 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 really good mood. She used to have a roll bar and it left some indents on the headrests right there. But I took the roll bar off because, you know, if I crash, I want to die. Um, I don't want to be just paralyzed <laughs> for the rest of my life. But my mom made my dad have that roll bar added because she didn't trust this little bitty car. It is teeny tiny teeny tiny and you want to see on the inside okay yep we'll show you the inside show you the engine kind of what's going on you have to reach all the way down here and there's a little pull -up. remember these this is a choke yep that's a choke um but i've done a lot on this car yeah lots and lots i think i'm going to change all of the fluids and make a video about that because that could be kind of fun but there she is in all of her glory the size of a lawnmower yeah straight for 1500 cc's i want to say 54 horsepower when new maybe 50 right now yeah she's she doesn't go fast but she corners really great yeah kids love the car when i'm putting gas in her and then they ask well how many horsepower you know 500 and i say nope 54 and then they say that she's not so cool then they're not so impressed this does have the rubber bumpers. People keep telling me to change them to the chrome, but this is just the way my dad had it, and I think of him every time I drive it. Sometimes I even smell, he used to chew Red Man, and so I'll be driving along, and I'll just get a whiff of Red Man chewing tobacco. And then I know my dad's with me. I believe in that stuff. I really do. I think he kind of comes and goes and kind of helps me when I need some help. Could sure use some help right now with that other car. <laughs> but anyway, this is it. This is the 1976 MG Midget that I used to drive on the Naples beaches when I used to live in Naples, Florida. Love, love, love this car. Added the luggage rack on the back and she is just as fun as can be. You think I should do some videos on this? You think so? All right, let me know and we can do it. Maybe we'll just change the fluids on this. We'll make a whole video about changing the fluids. More videos on that car coming as well, but I just love her. Those lines, just so presidential. Not like the presidential debate because that was a cluster but it's just so very presidential. Yep, just sitting here in the midge right now. Yep, still wearing my merchandise. Check it out. Go to teespring.com if you want to wear some of this stuff and be as cool as me. No, I'm just really kidding. Anyway, so that's kind of a walk around on the cars that Mike has uh, rebuilt and some he has kind of destroyed and some are staying and some are going and all of that. Still love the midge. I really do. I really, really, really like the midget. You couldn't tell by the state she's in. Still a little dusty, but that's okay. All right, so if you're new to the channel, thank you very, very much. We've kind of uh, taken a good jump, 14,300 already, which is pretty amazing. That's thanks to the S55 AMG. I'm thinking the midget might bring some too. Yep, I think the midget might bring some boys to the yard, more so than the milkshake did. So we'll have to do a video or two on the midget. I call her Millie. Yeah, because it's a midget and my dad was Wild Willie when he was a little kid. His name was William, went by Bill. So midget and Willie is Millie. Kind of fits. Really kind of fits. Now I'm getting sad because I'm thinking about my dad. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you want to check out some merch, please do that as well. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.